Huzur, in the first uh, century of Ahmadiyyat, um, the style of tabligh was centered a lot on uh, um, argumentative debates. Uh, we, we see that this is not the case these days. Um, how could Huzur, um, how would I say, uh, summarize the style of tabligh in the second century of Ahmadiyyat? It's going to be the same as it's being exhibited by us all over the world. There's not going to be any change, except for a, any miraculous change of which we have no knowledge, which lies in Allah's plan. But the present style of preaching, as I have been repeatedly saying, requires greater stress on dua, on prayers. Without dua, without prayers, you can't achieve any results whatsoever. This is my lifelong experience, which I especially gained by the study of the Muslim Muslim. He is the greatest advocate of prayer in this century. In the last so many centuries, I should say. After Ahanzu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I know of none other who emphasized the importance of prayer so much. So the Ahmadis, you know, habitually ask each other for prayer, prayer, prayer. This you never hear of the non Ahmadis. They meet each other, hello, how are you? And sometimes they call, call them with invectives and this and that. But Please pray for me, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. It's amazing. So, prayer is, the, is central to Amadiyat. And it plays a central role, role in the spread of Amadiyat. So, those uh, Amadi Mawallameen or Mubalagheen or honored workers who remember this, they get much more fruit than those great scholars who don't know the importance of prayer as much. This has been my experience throughout Rukh Fajadid as well. We had two types of Mualimin, some who were highly educated and some who were barely educated. But among those who were barely educated were some who were so humble and uh, all their emphasis was on prayer. And they got the greatest number of fruits. And uh, those whom, whom he, they converted, they also became very holy and uh, pious-minded. So that is why I have been instructing and the Mollameen and honorary workers, etc. to pay special emphasis on prayer and then go in the field, and inshallah, we'll find amazing results.